Are you offended? Or let me ask you this, are you easily offended? There are way too many people that are easily moved, easily offended. Oh, she didn't call me. Oh, why is he looking at me like that? How come you didn't message me? How come the pastor didn't say hello to me this Sunday? Way too many people are easily moved and offended. And I believe that it's the people who are extravagantly in love with Jesus. They're so going to be in love with Jesus that they're not going to mind anything else. Are you offended? Are you in love with Jesus? Because wherever there's love, Love, there will be no offense. There will be no room to hold on to offense because love withholds no wrongs. I believe right now here in John chapter 12, Judas Iscariot was offended at the extravagant love and worship of Mary as she went down and wiped the feet of Jesus with her hair and with the year's worth wage of the oil. And Judas Iscariot was offended at extravagant worship. People may be offended at how radical you are, at how loud you sing, at how many times you attend church service. People will be offended at you just to be being different and not fitting into the religious box. Listen to me today. You were never made to fit into religious box of society or to fit into religious perspective or system of any denomination or any alliance. God has made you to be you. God has made you to be free. And you are most powerful and most potent and most effective when you are being led by the Spirit, being yourself. Listen, today God wants to break you free from any religious box. It's, it's okay if people are offended. Let them be offended because there's an opportunity for them to be free and to, for them to be healed whole and to be delivered. But you continue to worship Jesus extravagantly.